Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 15.7.7 released the other day and Apple's still serving older devices. This released alongside a ton of other updates, iOS 16.5.1, iOS 17 beta 2 and many others. Now this is actually available currently on iPhone 6s, 6s plus, 7, 7 plus, iPhone SE first gen, iPad Air 2, iPad mini fourth gen and iPod touch seventh gen. This update's available and you'll see here it came in at 157.4 megabytes. That's on my iPhone 6s plus. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings, then general, then about, and you can see the software version says 15.7.7 with a build number of 19 H three, five, seven. This particular update doesn't bring features and changes, but rather since iOS 15 is done with features, iOS 16 is pretty much done with features. Now that we have iOS 17, Apple is still patching different security updates with iOS 15. And you can see those by going into Safari and seeing the different Apple security updates. If we scroll down, you'll see that we have the latest updates released with all of the other ones I mentioned before with iOS 15.7.7 and iPad OS 15.7.7. If we go into this, you can see the different updates. So we have a kernel update, the underlying code for the operating system, WebKit, which is the underlying code for Safari, and then another for WebKit. So we have three different ones here. And for the kernel, it says an app may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited against versions of iOS released before iOS 15.7. They fixed it with an integer overflow was addressed with improved input validation. And you'll see the same thing with WebKit that they've patched that as well. So there's a couple security updates. I definitely recommend installing this if you have a device running iOS 15. So if you can install it on an older device, it's still supported. It's still going to be secure and it will block those exploits that I mentioned already. As far as how long Apple will continue to support these devices, probably within another few months, maybe by the time iOS 17 releases in September, we don't really know. Now that we've moved on to iOS 16 and then to 17 later this year, usually they'll stop supporting earlier versions, but sometimes they'll carry on for two previous iOS versions. So we don't really know, but as we have more security updates, we may see more and more updates. So if you still want to run one of your older devices, you definitely can do that. And this shouldn't slow down performance or anything else. It's just a security patch. So if we go into weather, we'll give it a moment to load. You'll see it's nice and fast there. If we go maybe over to fitness, give it a second and you'll see it's here. We go into fitness plus you can load that quickly music loads quickly no real issues i do have a new splash screen there but no real issues it seems to work really really well and fairly fast so i wouldn't be concerned about that i would not be concerned about it affecting battery life but i'll just share the battery health here as many people want to see that on this device you'll see we're down to 85%. It's a pretty old device. I did use it one full year as my main device and it's still running well. So no issues there. And again, like I said, performance should be fine. Opening things like the camera, being able to quickly snap a photo if you need to and more. Let me know your experience with iPhone 15. If you've installed iOS 15.7.7 and also if you'd like me to continue maybe providing these updates, talking about security and more with older updates that are coming to older devices. Let me know in the comments below. I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.